Towers of Fantasy This is an open-world role-playing genre with the same style as Genshin Impact. Tower of Fantasy is set in a truly engaging, futuristic, post-apocalyptic world where robots, drones, jetpacks, and monsters are just a normal part of life. As with many RPGs, you take the role of a newcomer to a small settlement that helps you as you come to terms with the environment around you. The gameplay is extremely fluid and fun and offers plenty of action which has kept me well entertained. While there are plenty of core story missions and side quests common to all modern MMOs and RPGs, this world feels highly populated and interactive. Exploring is made significantly easier through your jetpack. In my opinion, the graphics of this game is outstanding. Phantom Blade Executioners this one's a dark fictional martial heroes action game with some features of cyberpunk elements, kung fu, animation, and lots of charming characters. Currently, Phantom Blade is available on PC, PS4, PS5, and MOBO in open beta, and if you're looking for a game that has a beautiful storyline and a lot of action, then you should definitely try Phantom Blade. The game offers three character classes and each of them has unique skills. First is Soul. He's a typical fighter who excels in the upfront assault. The second is Mu Xiaoqiu. She is nimble and on top of her own attack, she has two bodyguards ready to strike at her command. And last, we have Kord, a nameless instrument of the organization, Dynasty Legends 2. Who are you? Such a craven. You should stop nagging. This game is the next generation of the hack and slash ARPG genre. The game allows you to wipe out thousands of enemies in a single stage and become the overlord of the three kingdoms. The game has amazing graphics and features a plethora of 3D models and special effects. The action part of this game is super fun to play, especially if you're into martial arts. The game features Chronicle of Infinity. This is an action MMORPG game with fantastic visuals where you are put in the War of the Alliances and the protagonist that you create is the only one who can end it. You start off fighting with monsters and bosses and completing quests and traveling to Astropolis to help fight the Obsidian Army's attacks. A crazy part of this game is that it actually features a rowdy 150 player PvP mode and ton boxing star KO Master. Hey. As you already guessed from the name, this one's an action-packed fighting, sports, and single-player game in which more than 20 different boxers are available to you. You then slip into that boxer's gloves as you get into the ring where you can perform lethal special techniques and boosts to defeat your opponents. You can also individualize your character's appearance by doing customization Gunfire Reborn. This one's an action-adventure level-based game featured with FPS, roguelite, and RPG. The game offers an exciting, high-octane experience that combines the fast-paced action of an FPS with a roguelite level-based mode that offers multiple rounds for completion and randomized level creation for replayability. So Dragon Masters Dragon Masters is a multiplayer action game that gives you the chance to ride on the back of a dragon and face other opponents in exhilarating battles. Essentially, your goal in the game is to destroy the enemy's stronghold while trying to stop your opponents from destroying your own base. The game features more than half a dozen dragons and you can use more than a dozen different riders. Each of the dragons has its own unique ability and provides you with a different set of advantages. There's also a campaign mode in the game where you can fight with AI enemies. Happy Playtime Chapter 2 It's finally here guys, and let's just say it was a crazy release leading up to a crazy chapter. So up to the point of chapter 2, Poppy Playtime had seemingly already solidified themselves as competitors. Hurry scurry! Anyone else genuinely looking to experience the madness of Squid Game and the fun that is Fall Guys all woven together? Well, Hurry Scurry might be your best chance. The game is composed of a series of simple, sometimes childish challenges that mask the intensity of the competition taking place. 
Hurry Scurry contestants constantly fall to their death from round to round, and many of the minigames feature players diving across the finish line to make it to the next game. Just like in that infamous first episode of Squid Game, Red Line Outland Odyssey. Outland Odyssey allows you to explore and survive in a dying world. In the game, you have to hunt, capture, and train creatures called Zeds as they try to bring the world back from the brink of destruction. Despite the world's condition, however, destruction is not imminent and the characters are still hopeful that the world can be saved.